Hey, hope everybody is doing well. My name is Cyrus Hojati, and I just have to point out that this whole idea of censoring, shutting down people from YouTube is getting really out of hand, I gotta tell you. And it's coming to the point where even the people that I have met, I have contacted, I have interviewed. Just recently now, James Alsop has been shut down by YouTube. Now, those of you who don't know who he is, I saw him at the Renaissance Conference last May in Tennessee, where we talked about the changing demographics and the effects of society. He is a young individual, even younger than me. I'm 26. He's talked about the effects of mass immigration, demographic change, how people of European descent need to stand out, and not to mention a lot of social ills of society. And he's been brilliant on a lot of other topics. He's even debunked elements of even the right about how they worship capitalism too much. And he has debunked elements of the left, how they've gone so far when it comes to this idea of bashing traditional roles, genders, and families. So anyway, his channel has been shut down. Now, he has done some videos that has been shut down, but it is just very, very shocking to see what's happened. Now, yet again, it was pretty obvious he had like, gosh, 450,000 subscribers. I'm pretty shocked. Well, he has that many subscribers. That's probably like 300 times the amount of subscribers that I do. And I've been doing YouTube since 2011. And I don't know how he's able to do it. I think he probably got some kind of lift or something. But anyway, it was easy to see why his channel was his target because he was standing up the interest of European Americans and he brought a lot of outside, out of the box content. Now the question is, is he controlled opposition? Like I said, it's really hard to say. I've heard people point out, not just people like Alex Jones or Stefan Molyneux, but even people like Jared Taylor and Red Ice are controlled opposition. Who knows, who can you trust? But then again, I do not support, obviously, and everybody should, that YouTube is cutting down on these channels. And this has resulted in people realizing that not only the people are moving to other platforms like BitChute, which I will tell you, I did upload a video on that site, but they're also cramping down on, from what I've heard, left-wing type people like this guy, Kyle Kulatsky and Majority Report. I don't know how to pronounce their name. Not to mention, they're also cracking down on just, in general, alternative content, different content. It could be about the financial market. People who talk about other topics like perhaps pets, cooking. Even if I were to have a video and talk about urban planning and architecture, they can be shut down because once again, a lot of the things I talk about, even though they don't have to be political related, they can certainly be outside of what the establishment wants. And this makes me think, look, if they keep shutting us down, then this makes us think maybe the things that we're saying is really, really true. When they shut this channel or that channel, I assume that their content was really relevant. It was important. It didn't cause any harm or threat or anything. Why should it violate any community standards? This is insanity. Remember, once again, if this is gonna go on like this, let's say if I use my cell phone and talk something that the establishment doesn't like, perhaps a provider like AT&T Verizon, they can just cut down my telephone call. Now, of course, that would be a lot harder to do because then they'll have to hear every single telephone call that's happening. YouTube is something when it's published and it stays there until it has been removed by the user or somebody else. And the question is, will they start coming after me? now? I know that my channel only has about 1,600 subscribers. Nevertheless, I did see that YouTube has put my content in terms of age restriction. I do believe one of my videos did get flagged because I was filming a clip on my computer screen about this so-called gold pumper, Mike Maloney, which I've done videos and I will do more videos about him pretty soon. But that's really been the only time when my videos have been 
flagged down. When YouTube is shutting down other channels, which I do think that they can do on the Red Elephants and many others, there is a possibility that it will drive more traffic to my channel. Now the question is, will they eventually start coming after this channel? Because we don't know, it could grow to 4,000 subscribers, 10,000, who knows? Anything is possible. But what you need to do is you need to save my videos and we have to all start encouraging to putting videos in other platforms to getting the truth out. Because once again, you know, a lot of the news and information I provide, like the drag queen video, it is really a true alternative to perhaps news agencies like The Sun, Review Journal, all these other local channels that's really, really out there. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's very, very harsh. I really believe that James Alsop was really onto something. I think that he has really professionally helped the alt-right movement much, much more effectively probably more professionally than individuals like Matthew Heimbach and Richard Spencer. So what can we do to really bring back his channel? I don't know, maybe this guy will just move on with his life. Maybe he's just probably done and he's probably earned a lot of money YouTubing. So perhaps he can just, who knows, retire early. It's a very, very difficult forecasting as you can see anyway thank you guys so much if you like please subscribe share this channel and get the word out take care